What up? T-Bob here. And Jake as well. And look at you. You done stumbled upon little OTB Saints, where we bring you all the latest black and gold coverage. Who are the Saints going to draft? Who's going to be their quarterback? What does the salary cap look like? All that information and more. Hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe. Man, it was a fun two weeks with the New Orleans Saints. And, and, and again, I really would love to see what maybe could have happened with this team had the health gods been a bit nicer. But honestly, maybe it's for the best in the end. Maybe we do need to do what the ancients would have done and just call a spade a spade. Obviously, the football gods do not want the Dennis Allen era to succeed. It was probably never going to succeed to begin with, but there have been no breaks along the way that would make you think that, they, that anybody's ever, there's ever been a higher power looking out for them. This, like a lot of this blame has to fall on the front office, though. Oh, but, yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. But, because of how this roster was constructed and putting so much like, the offensive philosophy and success on one player that you didn't have a backup option, talking about Taysom Hill, uh, the offensive line issues that you've had, your backups who are veteran players in the NFL, not ready to go. I mean, we could go a lot of different places in the construction of this roster, and you're going to have injuries in the NFL. We could pull up the injury page in the NFL. It's yeah. going to have stars. It's going to have a lot of different names and bodies on it for every single team. And it's going to be what it is. Now, when you get your quarterback hurt, that's a little bit different situation because, you know, there's there's not 32 guys that can do it. There's there's like 20 guys in the world that can play at a high level. So that's one thing, but that just happened to you. And Derek Carr, to me, wasn't playing, you know, like a top 10 quarterback or anything. So this roster was constructed in a way where one or two injuries was going to crumble the entire thing. And that's what you're seeing right yes. now. You're seeing it not completely crumbled. But if you lose coming up this weekend, it is going to be just pebbles on the ground. Brittle was the word uh, that 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 I kept going back to on yesterday's show, and brittle is how it feels, right? Like, like I always think about it like um, like forging metal, right? Where 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 you can have uh, a sword that is forged that looks like it's made it looks beautiful from the outside Jake you know sharp edge shiny it's polished up but it's not actually well struck and because of that it has no flexibility it has no bend to it yeah. it can't absorb anything and so as soon as you go to hit it on something it just shatters right whereas a well made piece of, or like or like a bridge or a building or anything right they have to be able to sway they have to be able to have some give they got to be able to take some pressure yeah. they got to be able to to kind of roll with the punches and this is a saints roster that may have looked pretty but like it's almost like a building where they only did the outside and then you open the door and the inside's unfinished and it's just scaffolding and you realize you're just one big bad wolf away from the entire house of straw coming crumbling down and again, you just live in a weird situation where your GM is a pseudo owner. And so even though the fault does lie at the feet of the front office, it's not, nothing's going to change. Um, nothing's going to change. And again, like this is going to happen throughout the NFL. You're going to have injuries. It's like, okay, well, when they happen, how do you react to it? And I'm not talking about even bringing in different bodies, but like how you constructed your roster and you know what you can deal with, and there's some that are you know set up better than than others, but the plan just feels so poor right now, and, and what their options have been. Um, the Taysom Hills, what we're going to keep going back to, it's just, and I do realize there's not a lot of Taysom Hills, but again, he's not throwing the football this year. We talked about it yesterday, so get somebody that's like him without being able to throw the ball. We were joking in the chats like Joshua Dobbs. I was like, that's actually not that bad. But you get someone in that mold so you can still, T-Bob, do the things that you want to get done. Is it going to be to the level of Taysom? No. There's a reason there's starters and backups. But we still can do those things and try to affect the defense because this is who we are. If you don't know thyself, if you don't have an identity, if you don't have a DNA of this is who we're going to be, and then you start to try to just – be something you're not, and you're trying to pull from all these different directions. And right now, that's what they look like. They don't know who they are because the piece that kind of makes them who they are is out, and you didn't have a plan when that guy went down and a guy who has injury history in his past. Yeah, I mean, uh, like, I don't know why Jamal Williams just isn't 
why you're not? Why do you try to force him to be that guy? He has think, no role on the team. No, he has no. He hasn't had a role for two years. You it's might a pick as well. Returner now. You might as well. Power not. Back. Yeah, almost kneeling at the one yeah. too. Probably did kneel at the one. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, his knee whispered to the grass. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but it's like, why not just try to force him into that role? He's and the only body type that you would have. Yeah. Part of this brittleness is by design because the Saints are hitting a a soft reset as well. Um, but it doesn't make it any better because the only reason why you have to hit the reset is because you continue to kick the debt can down the road post Drew Brees thinking you could still win where knowing that you didn't have a quarterback, you might have been better off just hitting the full, you know, starting this process a couple years earlier. Yeah, because that, that's tough, T. I mean, we talked about at the time, like when you're not fully ready to completely hit reset, and you're trying to make some moves for the future, some for right now. And I'll you're kind example, of no man's land. A, an example that kind of stands out to me, you traded up in the second round to take Kool-Aid. I think Kool-Aid McKinstry is going to be a really good player, but where were you already pretty solid? Yeah. In the defensive backfield, right? And you got some contract issues that might play out, but if we're talking about if you're going to go for it this year, then that probably wasn't the right play. Now, if you're looking at the future, I think Kool-Aid is going to be a, a long-time NFL player, okay, but in the second round, you moved up, and you didn't take positions that you need right now. I think, I think, I think, I think that was a future move, right? That's a we're not going to we're not going to keep Lattimore around like we've been keeping these other right. Bets but it around. doesn't help you any this no, year. No, he no, played no, se- no, he played no. seven plays against. But, Kansas but that's City. what I'm saying. This is the first year in which the front office hasn't really been interested in this year. Yeah, they kind of told this current era and team, hey, you guys are going to sink or swim on your own. We'll make some coaching changes, sure. But we're not giving you any high price for agents. We're not doing any. We're not extending Alvin. We're not. We're not. So like, yeah, they 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 very much have have kept it tight this year compared to previous years. Yeah. So you 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 know you needed offensive line help. You didn't take an offensive lineman out. You, know, you took one in the first round. You take another one in the seventh round. Mm-hmm. You need a receiver help. You don't take one in the second round. You take Bub Means in the fifth round. Um, defensive tackle somewhere that we talked about trying to add a body in the offseason. You take one in the sixth round. So it's it's a message of, you know. They weren't going for immediate needs, you know. Okay. I mean, but with the car move, it kind of tells you they are, though. The car, car was always a bridge, though. Car was a bridge to, okay, can we win in the short term while we kind of reset things elsewhere? And especially after car didn't work out, right? If car had balled out and you'd like won all those games, then I think maybe they would have been like, okay, you know what? Maybe the window's open. After seeing Carr for a year, I think they're very much like, well, let's just pay out this contract, and then we'll, and 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 we're we're we we are looking to the future. Um, but that's a dangerous game again, guys. That's just not. It's not just because you decide to reset that suddenly you're going to do so successfully and be good. Um, all right, when we get back, let's dive into LSU Ole Miss for real this time. And and we can circle back around to Saints certainly later in the show as well if we want. Uh, keep it locked right here on 104.5 ESPN, 100.3, 94.7, wherever you're listening. Wow, just amazing black and gold takes right there, Jake. I don't think I've ever heard any takes that are better than the two guys that just gave you that take. And you can keep getting them by going ahead and liking, subscribing, ringing the bell to get notifications when we post. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next OTB Saints.